Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to start the third season of a certain magical index today and I'm quite curious to see what's going to happen during this one. The end of the second season was really wild with that whole situation involving Yoka and I'm expecting this one to be just as good or even better than that one. So, it's going to be really interesting to see uh, more of these uh, situations and uh, to get to see also more of uh, some of these characters who don't really appear uh, that often or at all during the Railgun series, like um, Kanzaki and Index and Toma. Um, so yeah, there's a whole lot of them that I really like and unfortunately they are like they mostly appear during uh, index so I always have to wait uh, for these um, for these seasons uh, to see more of them. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting this season to be just as fun as the other ones and uh, there's also going to be some more of those um, tense moments of course. But I'm going to try my best in order to understand it as best as possible, of course, because uh, unlike Railgun, which is um, a bit more easier uh, to follow, uh, Index is um, more complex, so it takes a, a while uh, to fully understand everything. Uh, but yeah, either way, it's still going to be really awesome to watch uh, another season of uh, this series, and uh, I believe this is um, the final season of Index that is uh, released so far. So, I don't know if there's going to be a fourth one or not, but something to think about later. Uh, so yeah, right now, just really can't wait to start the first episode of this uh, season. So, with this, really hope you guys are ready, and let's start it. We already did a lot. Yeah, the Imagine Breaker. I wonder if we will learn more about it during this season. <laughs> it's like a recap of what happened during the first season. Then Best Girl. Okay then, I saw that. <laughs> and I remember that moment. A lot has happened. Oh, Oriana. I wonder what... Where she is and stuff. There's eyes as well. This was the last thing we saw. Oh, straight with the opening. Damn, I like the start of it. Oh, there's a uh, item girls. Some new ones. Oh, I like the opening so far, and with all of these scenes, it really feels like it's going to be full of intense moments. Oh, that one. I love that one so much. <laughs> it's like the Lancer, right? Really? 
We start this with a bad scene. Of course, why not? <laughs> Sphinx as well. Okay, cats aren't big fans of water, so. He seems to like that though. Here comes the food. Hmm. It seems that he doesn't really. <laughs> hey, that means a lot to Index, though. It's going to be the food. <laughs> there it is. Better find that wallet, though. Oh, there's Komoe. And Sushimikado, and... I don't remember the name of the blue hair... Blue-haired guy. Pierce? It's him. Hmm... Okay then. <laughs> oh, Fukiyose. There are so many characters that I love from this series. Hmm. <laughs> like always. Shouldn't mess with her. Hehehe. <laughs> Damn that guy though, he's big! Oh, where is he? Hmm... Yeah, that season also ended with us learning about group. It's part of it. Along with Accelerator and that other guy. She's one of those few characters who appears often during both series. It's part of anti-skill, so that makes sense. Oh, there's Uiharu! And Kuroko! <laughs> so happy that they also appear. Misaka. Oh, you mean Stoma?
Bargain sale goods. <laughs> That's not what you want right now. Yeah, pretty much. He gets to be alone with Fugioza though. Hmm. Well, she already proved that she can do a lot more. Oh, going to show him. Yep. Oh, damn. Okay, then. That's... Oh, my God. <laughs> of course. Yep. Holy... Okay, that was fast. Oh, she did it. Oh my god, of course they had to give that panty shot. And just his luck. Sometimes his... His luck is, like, questionable. Like, his bad luck, I guess. He gets to see some... Nice things. She's really fun. <laughs> Always on top of those. Where is he going? He's running around. Like he's free. Oh. He's really adorable. <laughs> oh, she really needs food. Oh, damn, that was kind of her. Like, literally, once. Oh, really? This coincidence? It's actually her doing it. I mean, that's actually the one she's making that for. Oh, damn. That's really... Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, these timings. <laughs> All the time. Oh. 
<laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> biri biri. Oh, <laughs> okay then. Hmm. Oh, her mother. Yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> when she was all drunk. <laughs> I remember that moment. One of the final episodes of the second season. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not going well for him. Is M though? M, that sound though. Hmm. And he has to be careful all the time, considering his bad luck. He's gone. Yeah, really unlucky of Toma, like always getting the blame for everything. She can apparently understand that. I wonder though, when she mentioned his name, a reaction felt like she knows him. That I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh. They meet. Oh. Damn, she's really up to something. Yeah. Apparently. Oh. You know her.
Hmm. She knows about that. Hmm. So she make it easier. Hmm. Wait, what? Just killed her. Oh, damn. Hmm. Oh, damn. I was wondering why Sushi Mikado did that. It was apparently a request. It still sucks, though. Document of Constantine. All right then. That animation of the clouds, though, that was so detailed. It was really good, but its final moments. That was really crazy. I was really wondering why Tsushi Mikado just killed her, but apparently it was something she asked him to do. So, can't blame him, I guess. But that still really sucks, I mean. That girl from before just lost her mother, so... She's even doing those scars for her. That is really sad when she finds out about it. Yeah, they're apparently going to France. To solve this, and I remember, like, by the end of the second season, they were afraid of this war because of that whole situation. Yeah, then again, probably going to be a bit hard to understand everything at first, at least. This kind of series are always like, really complex. Yeah, even if I don't understand some things, it's still going to be enjoyable to, to watch this. They're actually jumping! Oh, damn! Okay, then. 
That's quite something. But yeah, this uh, the start of this season is already really, really crazy. Or at least the um, these final moments, because the start was uh, mostly about um, like watching some of these characters that I really like, and with them doing uh, some of these things. And as far as I understood, it's uh, also almost Christmas, right? So that's uh, quite interesting because I'm also watching this by the time, uh, like in December. So it's also almost Christmas in real life. Uh, so yeah, it was definitely really awesome to watch this first episode, and this final moment was really intense. I like it. it really felt like she knew uh, about Toma when Index mentioned uh, his name, but uh, I had no idea she was involved in something like this. So. That was quite something, and uh, she was talking about him, um, like about how she hoped that uh, he would uh, like stop this, um, like whatever is happening. I still need to understand uh, a bit more of this. It seems that uh, some of these, um, like the Roman Church or like uh, its followers, I guess, they are uh, doing these manifestations and uh, like they are against something. Um, but I still need to, um, like, I'm probably going to understand it more with uh, every episode, or as long as they don't make it more complicated, which uh, is probably going to happen. So yeah, it's, um, it's going to be, like, still really, really interesting to watch everything, and uh, we'll see how I understand everything, and hopefully I'll be able to get uh, as much as possible. Um, but yeah, really can't wait to see what will happen during this uh, next episode. So, with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.